Hello everybody, today is January 25th, 2012. Japan kept silent on worst nuclear crisis scenario. The Japanese government worst case scenario at the height of the nuclear crisis last year, March, warned that tens of millions of people, including Tokyo residents, might need to leave their homes according to a report obtained by the Associated Press. But fearing widespread panic, officials kept the report secret. And I had reported to you that there was reports that the radiation was in Tokyo, in fact, and was such a level that people in the know were leaving the area. Is it no surprise that our own military that was there on the ships left the area? And I suppose if you're on an island, where are you going to go? The recent emergency of the 15-page internal document may add to complaints in Japan that the government withheld too much information about the world's worst nuclear accident since Chernobyl. It also cast doubt about whether the government was sufficiently prepared to cope with what could have been an evacuation of unprecedented scale. And they should have done it, but they couldn't. The report was then submitted to then Prime Minister Kan and his top advisors on March 25th, two weeks after the earthquake and tsunami devastated Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant causing three reactors to melt down and generating hydrogen explosions that blew away protective structures. And they're leaving out the fact that it sent radiation around the world that is still going around the world. The core of these nuclear reactors has gone into the groundwater table and is creating um, radioactive steam that's circling the earth right now. Workers were ultimately able to bring the reactors under control. Both are still not under control. But at the time, it was unclear whether emergency measures would succeed. Can commission the report compiled by the Japanese Atomic Energy Commission to examine what option the government had if those efforts failed. In a recent report, I think it was um, unit number two, they went in to look at the core, and it wasn't there. <laughs> it was like, where'd it go? Oh yeah, the aliens took it, right. No, it's gone down into the mantle of the earth. Authorities evacuate 59,000 residents within 20 kilometers or 12 miles of the Fukushima plant, with thousands more were evacuated from other towns later. The report said there was a chance for larger evacuations could be needed, and they just knew it should have been done, and they never did it. The report looked at several ways the crisis could escalate explosions inside the reactors, complete meltdowns, and the structural failure of the cooling ponds used for spent nuclear fuels, and that all happened. The spent fuel pools were right above the reactors themselves, so when there was that hydrogen explosion, it blew those rods miles away. Plutonium has been found here in the United States from this nuclear reactor, or reactors, when it went up into the jet stream, was carried across the Pacific to America and Canada. The CDC has said over 14,000 um, elderly people and children have died here in the United States and Canada, direct result from the fallout of Fukushima. And those numbers are going to continue to grow. It is said that each contingency was possible at the time it was written and could force all workers to flee the vicinity, meaning the situation at the plant would unfold on its own unmitigated Using matter-of-fact language, diagrams, and charts, the report said that if meltdowns spiral out of control, radiation levels could soar. And they did, and they still are. There's a report showing how even Canada is hiding the radiation that they're getting. And if they're getting it, the United States is getting it. When all those things happen, and they did happen, it is said that evacuation orders should be issued for residents within and possibly beyond 170 kilometers or 105 miles radius of the plant and voluntary evacuations should be offered to everyone living within 250 kilometers or 155 miles and even beyond that range. That's the area that would include Tokyo and its suburbs with a population of 35 million people and the major cities such as Sendai with a million people and Fukushima City with 290,000 people. The report further warned that contaminated areas might not be safe for several decades. We cannot rule out further developments that may lead to the unprecedented situation at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. 
where there has been an accident and this report outlines a summary of that unpredictable situation says the document written by the head of commission which oversees nuclear policy after Ken received the report he and other Japanese officials publicly insisted there was no need to prepare for wide-scale evacuations liars 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 I'm sure in hell they have a special place for these people rumors of the document grew this month after media reports outlining its findings and an outside panel was created to investigate possible cover-ups Kodo News Agency described the content of the document in detail on Saturday the government continues to refuse to make the document public yeah there's probably more stuff in there that's even worse the AP obtained it on Wednesday through a government source who insisted on a nominee because the document is still categorized as internal let's uh, how about top secret yeah Goshi Hano the cabinet ministry in charge of the nuclear crisis implicitly acknowledged the documents existence earlier this month and said that the government had felt no need to make it public oh no big deal be happy no worries this was the scenario based on the hypothesis and even in the event of such development we were told that residents would have enough time to evacuate he said we were concerned about the possibility of a causing excessive and unnecessary worry if we went ahead and made it public he said that's why we decided not to disclose it a Japanese government nuclear policy official said Wednesday that he stood behind Hosano's decision on the document it was all his decision he said we do not disclose all administrative documents Japanese authorities and regulators have been repeatedly criticized for how they have handled information amid the unfolding nuclear crisis officials initially denied that the reactors had melted down and had been accused of playing down the health risks of exposure to radiation in another example of radiation warning system known as speedy had identified high-risk areas where thousands of people were continuing to live while the reactors were in critical condition officials did not use that data to order evacuations they have since said it was not accurate enough the outside panel investigating the government's response to the nuclear crisis has been critical calling for more transparency in relaying information to the public risk communication during a disaster cannot be said to have been proper at all said the interim report last month we are not children who need to be protected from the truth you have information about dangerous levels of radiation it should be our decision what to do about the information not you the government or any private citizen or anybody else you think oh well there's nothing we can do so let's just keep the world looking like it's fine shame on the Japanese government shame on the American government shame on the Canadian government shame on the news agencies shame on shame on all the people who have information and withhold it from others I'm gonna share something with you a lot of people haven't thought about how one person can make a difference if this was not the the case why do we vote for one president why do we vote for a congressman or congresswoman to represent us why do we vote for a senator to represent us why do we have one teacher in the classroom teaching what 30 40 50 students why would YouTube be censoring people if that one voice didn't have an impact we hear cases all the time where an individual takes on the government or an entity of the government or a business takes them to court and they win that one person so you think as an individual what can I do poor me I'm gonna protect my children I'm gonna protect the children of the planet we're gonna protect the population because there's nothing they can do so we're going to withhold information knowledge is power and to hoard that knowledge keep it to yourselves is selfish governments do it the media does it and shame on the media because they're supposed to be the watchdogs of everything that's going on to inform the people we pay to buy your information through advertisements or to buy the paper or subscribe to an internet service so we deserve to have the truth 
people are paid to do a job to make sure we're safe. And they get information that finds out that the situ a situation is not safe. You're supposed to tell somebody. You're supposed to tell the people. Making people think that everything goes okay and next week, next month, down the road, they die from radiation or bad medicine or vaccines because this information was withheld. When information about bad medicine, vaccines, air quality, water quality is withheld from the people, radiation, that's a criminal act. But oh, that's right. They want to decrease the population. We got too many people. We got 7 billion plus people in the world now. So you, if you have information and are withholding information that could save someone's life, you are part of that plan to decrease the population. And if you're so into decreasing the population, decrease yours first. We have laws to protect us that are not enforced. We vote for a president. We vote for a congressman or congresswoman. We vote for a senator, different entities that are paid to work for us to protect us. And they don't do it. So then we have the whistleblowers, like the internet, YouTube, that's being censored. Because us as an individual, we can make a difference. We have made a difference. And to sit on your hands and say, oh, there's nothing I can do is hogwash. I'm not going to share this information about this radiation because there's nothing we can do. And that's hogwash. We can fight for clean air. We can fight for clean water. We can fight for clean energy. And we start on an individual basis. So I'm sure this video is going to be censored. I'm sure it's going to be blocked. Many of you will not even get noticed that I made this video. You're just going to have to start going to your different subscribers' web pages and find the news that way. If they weren't afraid of us as an individual, then they wouldn't have passed that new Homeland Security Act where we can be picked up and thrown in prison without any due process. No free phone call. No access to consul. We wouldn't have phone taps. We wouldn't have computer key code loggers, etc because we do count. As an individual, we do count. We can make things happen. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everybody up to date. All my videos are free to share and pass around. I don't censor my news. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everybody up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.